I had one song on one CD and it was the Cisco Thong song. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what Y2K is as a movie? It's about two losers who crash the popular kids party on New Year's Eve of 1999. At midnight, it's going to be 2000. And if you were of that era, you know that there was a mass hysteria surrounding what was going to happen technologically at midnight. And so clock strikes midnight and hilarity ensues. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that is accurate, my friends? That's yes, accurate. That is accurate. For a growing number of people, the year 2000 is not a milestone as much as it is a sign of some sort of impending chaos. I play Laura, who's the popular girl who's also like really good with computers, so she comes in handy. It came to me almost by accident because I was not originally attached and, and an opening came and I immediately said yes, I want to do it. I play Danny and he's kind of, yeah, um, friends with Eli, who Jaden plays, and it's kind of, they have no other friends. <laughs> they met each other and it's just them. They build up the courage to go to this party and yeah, it just goes to <laughs> basically. I play Eli, he's the biggest loser of them all, I think. Um, mm. I think even at this party, you know, Danny finds his confidence, he gets comfortable in his own skin, and Eli just doesn't have that quite yet. That's why we have Journey. character arcs. Yeah. Character yeah. arcs. That's called their arc. Where's my arc? Your director, Kyle, was actually in high school in 1999. What has he told you about the Y2K phenomenon? Less about the phenomenon and more of like the culture of the time. Both Kyle and Evan came in very handy because there were some jokes that kind of went over our heads initially and a lot of references that maybe we didn't, oh, not you, you're so smart. You're so smart. Now he's about to enter. An, an unsafe zone. What's one reference that they mentioned that you're like, wait, I don't know what that is. Tipper Gore. <laughs> we didn't know Tipper Gore. I, know what that is. <laughs> I, still, I still don't know what that is. What's another one? We, we This is like this thing that I say called like, first show of like... Alias, a, right? Ali is it alias or is it Arliss? Wrong, wrong, and sorta of wrong. I asked Kyle, is this Arliss? And he went, yeah. But that might have been a bit, he might have been joking. That's <laughs> no, also made with, it into the That film. was also with Kyle, like he would come over and he would be like, Hey, and he would give you direction, but you don't know if he was like kidding or not. He'd be like, man, don't do that, even do like... that. Don't even do that again. And we're like, <laughs> don't oh, okay. Ever do that. No. Movies, movie magic. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. Did Kyle give you any 90s era movies or TV shows to kind of get you prepped for the role and for the culture? Did you prep? Like 2000s, yeah. like Did 2000s you prep? stuff. A lot of music. Uh, yeah, music, music was very important yeah. for us. They burnt, they actually burnt CDs with like, um, music on it for yeah. us and they gave us like yeah, a cd got, player with like earbuds i got the mariah carey unplugged mtv cd really? very fun yeah i had one song on one cd and it was the cisco thong song <laughs> one song that's actually all you one need to know song. about the movie